The final trigonometric function we have left to discuss is the cotangent. We've defined the cotangent of an angle in two different ways. The cotangent of theta is equal to 1 over the tangent of theta, or the cotangent of theta equals the cosine of theta divided by the sine of theta. Either way, since our cotangent function can be represented as a rational function, where we have variables in the denominator, we again have to be concerned about places where our function will be undefined. Our cotangent ends up having vertical asymptotes any time that the tangent of theta equals zero or that the sine of theta equals zero. We think of the sine of theta graph most frequently. Recall that the sine graph starts at the origin, goes up to 1, then back to the x-axis at pi, then down to negative 1, and back to 0 again at 2 pi radians. Since the sine of theta is equal to 0 at each multiple of pi, then the cotangent theta function will have vertical asymptotes at 0 plus pi k. What other properties do we know? Well, here, let's sketch those. Zero, pi, two pi, negative pi, negative two pi. What other properties do we know? Well, the cotangent, like the tangent, is positive in the first and third quadrants and negative in the second and fourth quadrants. The cotangent will be equal to zero when the cosine is equal to zero. That is at pi over 2 plus pi times k. Zero here, positive in the first quadrant, negative in the second quadrant. Zero here, positive in the third quadrant, negative in the fourth quadrant. When we put this in information together, we come up with a graph that looks like a tangent that's flipped over the horizontal axis and shifted. Let's take, let's look at a better sketch here. The domain of our cotangent is all real numbers except 0 plus pi k. The range, that's where our asymptotes are. The range is all real numbers since the function can take on any positive values or negative values uh, in the y. Lastly, notice that the cotangent, like the tangent function, has a period just of pi. It repeats every pi to make one cycle.